Hello everyone, as Lucy said, my name is Elizabeth Bustamante and I'm very, very excited to talk to you today about manufacturing defects caused by lamp patterns. I currently manage a team of 11 electrical and mechanical engineers and we are creating thousands of cat libraries per week for the 1 million engineers on our platform, snapdea.com. We are basically helping our users to design their symbols and land patterns to ensure proper manufa manufacturing. And some of the defects that I'm going to share today were real situations that our users faced and I will be also sharing how we help them to figure them out. We have one more question. Okay, the question is if we're recording the, the session. Yes, we are. <laughs> Okay, so in this webinar, I'll go through the difference between footprints and land patterns. Then I will take a look at some of the most common manufacturing defects due to poorly designed land patterns. Next, I'm planning to share some library creation tips that will help you to avoid manufacturing defects. And then at the, at the end, we'll just jump into how we can automate CAD models. Uh, we can automate the verification processes for CAD models, is to verify CAD models. And just a quick intro about what is SnapDA and Sierra Circuits. So let's just get started with the basics. Um, the question is, what are footprints versus land patterns in a PCB. And I think this is a really good question because we usually think about these terms as if they were just the same thing, right? But then if you put a component into sand, it will leave an imprint. That imprint will be a footprint just it's just its actual physical size and i found this example in the, in the internet is a really good example so that's why i wanted to share it with everyone and then the difference is between that footprint and the lamp pattern is that when we're talking about lamp patterns we use that term when we want to define the size of the pads and the outline for a given component that should be designed onto a PCB. One thing that it's worth mentioning is that a component can have multiple lamp patterns based on the IPC density level that you will follow. And there are also other parameters. And then, um, you can only have one footprint. You can only have one footprint for a component. But again, you can have multiple land patterns. In this whole presentation, we'll be talking, we'll be referring to footprints as land patterns. And so now let's talk about some of the basic elements of land patterns. So first we have the pin one indicator, also known as the post assembly inspection dot. And it is in the, it is normally placed on the seal screen layer, meaning that is visible after the assembly process. It helps to verify that the component are, was assembled with the correct rotation. And then we have the seal screen, or also known as legend layer. It basically 
serves as a reference indicator for placing components in your PCB. And then we have the documentation layer right here. The documentation layer is where you can basically add all your manufacturing nodes. You can add everything you want to see or remember during the design process because everything that you're drawing this layer will not be present in your final PCB. Then we also have solder mask layer, which indicates um, where the solder mask should not be applied. And then we also have the stencil containing mainly the solder paste data of SMD. It looks like we have one question right now from Michael. Michael said, will the slides be available for download? I think they will. I think they will. So don't worry. <laughs> Great. So then we have the courtyard. When we're talking about courtyard, we need to we need to mention that there are two terms. The first one is the contour courtyard, and the other one is the courtyard excess. The contour courtyard basic it just basically provides the minimum electrical and mechanical clearance around the combined component component body and the lamp pattern and your lamp pattern boundaries. And then the courtyard excess is actually the clearance. The clearance is the area between that rectangle containing the lamp pattern and the, com and the component and the outer boundary of the courtyard. About the manufacturing defects that are uh, caused by lamp patterns. And so before, before starting with, with this one, um, I want to mention that there are a lot more causes, as you might know, for these manufacturing defects to happen. But the causes that I'm going to share in this presentation are mostly related to land patterns, to designing your land patterns. So you will not see, you will not see a lot around designing the PCB itself, but mostly around the land pattern design. The first manufacturing defects is a well-known <laughs> defect called tombstoning. And then what happens is that your, uh, your PCB pads is completely or partially lift, lifted from the, piece, from the PCB board, from the board, right? And so one of the main causes, again, re regarding going back to the lamp patterns, is when your pads are designed, and this happened mostly with SMD2 pad packages, and so it's when the pad designs are have different sizes. Another another cause there is also a common one is when there's not enough solder paste. So what happens is that either having an incorrect lead land or not having enough solder paste is going to basically lift um, that lift when an entire when entering a solder in a solder bath. 